Hi friends, I'm Penny Hunt and I wanted to pop in today and talk to you about my newest writing in this what I call Penny Heart to Heart. My newest writing is called Benchmarks Change the Way You Look at Things or the way you see things, the way you look at life. I know a lot of us have benchmarks. We set benchmarks like goals, like if we reach this goal and we hit this benchmark, we'll move to the next one. That's how some people look at benchmarks, but that's not what I wrote about. What I wrote about is benchmarks that happen to us in life that we get through and then have a benchmark that if I can get through that, I can get through anything. I give you several examples. Um, the first one was when I was going through a divorce and I remember the Christmas I sat totally alone on Christmas day and um, had a bag of Hershey Kisses that I ate and watched the clock. I didn't have a television set to watch. I watched the clock tick, 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 and I thought, I will not survive this day alone, but I did. And that taught me that loneliness can be hurtful. It can also be healing. And I learned a big lesson that day. If I could be alone, totally alone and survive a Christmas day, I could survive being alone. I would be okay being alone with myself. And I've looked back at that benchmark when other things have happened in life, when I felt lonely or alone, and I think, oh, I remember that day. This right here that I'm going through is not as bad as that day was, and I survived that. Um, I give several examples, and another one I give is when my son passed away. And that was a benchmark that really rocked my world. My dad had passed two years earlier, and I thought, wow, I learned a few lessons from my dad's passing. He became ill and passed very quickly. And I was with him when he passed. And I remember I had a, a busy job. I was doing a long commute to get to work every day, and I was stressed in my life. And when I was with my dad when he passed, that gave me a benchmark to funnel out in my life what's big and what's small. I knew what was important in life and I knew what wasn't. So I really changed my work habits a little bit after that. I thought I set some priorities right. And then, as you know, life gets back in the rat race and um, I kind of slipped back into being too busy and doing too much and saying yes all the time. And then the benchmark, as I just mentioned, of my son passing away um, really changed everything in my life. I realized that I had slipped back into some um, busy busyness that I didn't want to be. And I realized how quickly time goes, how life isn't guaranteed, how we don't know how long we will be with people. But I had that benchmark of my son passing. And I remember being at his funeral thinking, I, will, I won't survive this day. I didn't want to survive. I was ready to not be here. I mean, that shook me to my core. And I look back at that now as the most painful thing I think a mom can experience. And I am still standing. I lived through that. So my benchmark, when I see people complain about their lives or their kids or their job or the world or what's happening um, anywhere, I look back to that day and the devastation I felt and the pain that I felt and I survived. I'm still standing. And I really believe no matter what's going on in your life or your world or um, no matter what's going on, you will survive. Anything that we've worried about and stressed about in our life, we have survived or we wouldn't be here today. So I invite you to read that. If you haven't read it yet, the link is there. Hi, Lori. It's always so good to see you join me. The link is with this um, video. So I um, encourage you to go read it. The audio is with it if you'd like to listen instead. But think about the benchmarks that you've survived in your life. And how can you keep those top of mind when something else happens and you think, oh, this is the end of the world? Keep those benchmarks so that you can look back and say, well, I survived that. And I thought that was the end of the world and I survived so I can survive this. 
I really do think we will all remain standing. I think no matter what is going on, how desperate you feel, how sad you feel, we will be standing. I'm still standing, although I've been through a lot and I'm still standing. And so we've all been through a lot in our lives if you really think about it and we're still standing. So I believe um, if we have those benchmarks that we can pull from our past and compare, um, lots of times I tell you not to compare because that's when we jump into envy and jealousy and things when we start comparing, but compare your, your situation today to a situation you lived through before, and that's not a bad comparison. That if you remind yourself that you've gone through that, you've worried and came out the other side, you've lived through it and you're still standing, and we will get through whatever's happening today. So I just wanted to talk to you about benchmarks and how we can look at them, not only in goal setting and we hit this benchmark, we'll move on to the next benchmark, but in um, surviving some of the troubles and fears and worries that we have in our life. I encourage you to check out my new book. Um, it's on Amazon, it's on my website, and it is 76 Tips to Journey Through Grief and Loss. It is a companion book to my first book on love and gratitude. And um, this is a really great one to give as a gift. Instead of just sending a sympathy card, um, send this little book. Because um, it's, sometimes when you're grieving, you can't handle a lot all at once. And so the little snippets of tips in this book, people can handle um, one at a time. Small snippets of um, examples and encouragement and tips of how... I walked through the journey of grief and loss and continue to walk it, I will, the rest of my life. Um, and I share my stories and, and tips with others. So I encourage you to check that out. Thank you so much for these few minutes today. I will check in and talk to you about my next writing. But for now, have a great day and thanks for joining me.